stop. Alright, today is wrap day. We got my running boards on. We have all the plastics on, new hood. I got a little too excited last night and I started wrapping the hood. Oh, you didn't even get around video. Well, I, was just, I was all excited. I couldn't even, come yeah. on. You're slim. So we're gonna finish it up today, hopefully. This is a 365 Designs wrap. They're based out of Canada. So far from what I put on the hood and everything, everything's like lined up perfectly. And I've never seen, like I know on Grant's sled, it's like two pieces. This wrapped around really nice. I was a little scared about that, but so far so good. So we have a few buddies coming over to help us wrap and hopefully we'll get this thing done today. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. didn't know Grant's also building a sled too I'm not gonna show it because he has his own video but our powder coating stuff is ready to go into EK powders this is Grant's little pile well big pile <laughs> here's my little pile we're gonna keep the purple I decided I'm gonna keep the purple on the rails just because it actually blends in pretty nice with the whole wrap and everything so we're keeping the purple rails. I might change the slides, but we will see. So far, so good. All right, y'all. As I'm editing, I'm just going to take a little break here to announce a super fun product that we are releasing. Um, our friends, Sean and Pam, they just opened a business called GrowTheSportApparel.com. And what they do is they do DTG printing on t-shirts. So we thought it would be a great idea to come out with this t-shirt. It is live right now, the Sea Cadillac. There's the Sea Cadillac in all its glory, along with some carbs and a little bit of Snowmax performance below. On the back here too, we have hashtag grow the sport. Um, they do come in different styles, the t-shirts. So you can get like a men's cut, you can get this V-neck, or you can also get a tank top as well. We thought it would be a great idea to release the Sea Cadillac as our first t-shirt, obviously, because it got us to where we are today. These are two greasy units, I will say. Uh, that kind of started it all for watercross for me on this uh, 701 Summit Skidoo, and then uh, kind of the 2.0 build of it, nicknamed the Sea Cadillac because it's just out, out there floating away. We've had a handful of friends ride the Sea Cadillac. <laughs> Sink, but. And we've had someone from another country ride the Sea Cadillac as well, Blair Murphy. Don't worry about the buoy or anything. Yeah. Don't be afraid, just wide open as soon as you get the skis almost yeah. in the water. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got this one. <laughs> is 
a staple and like I said it got us to where we are today so these are available in the link below they're alive go ahead and get one um we're just super excited to finally have some type of apparel related to our YouTube channel so thank you Sean and Pam for doing this for us we really appreciate it um let's get back to the video through all the parts from each skid into one bin literally his whole sled at least it's like you know a part like in little categories it's on the tray you're good so let's check all this stuff out bring it up on a tray looks good gosh remember that day when i was um working on that 800 and i had all yeah, the bolts the table was in the way so mm. i just put all the bolts together in one mag tray big goofball all right so today is driver day Grant's currently marking up my old drivers just so we can get that center point in there. Here's my track. I went with a 136. Same thing that I ran last year. Yeah, why buy new if you can use if you can use used? <laughs> and then I'm throwing my drivers in there. You can see there's a little bit of wear on one side. I mean it's I'm, yeah, I'm gonna flip them, but they're they're not too bad. But we're gonna flip them around so it's nice and fresh. Two use, use two time. New use. All right. So actually, looking at the seal, we're gonna clean it up, take the cover off, do a little repacking before I put it in the sled, and that's about that. the new drivers this is the edge the of the center. window on the track so then you want your driver to be centered in there and then you might have to play around with it just a little bit that's why you always have the track with you so you can check it what he said all right they're all pressed on we're gonna do a little fitment check on my track see how we measured See how good we measured. Should be good. That's pretty decent. This old girl's going home today. Oh, we get to see baby. Here's the addition. Productive day here at Tomac Performance. I got to clean the fish tank out. Water's settling, waiting for the fish to go in, and then today is motor day, so Grant's gonna go ahead and help me with that. What are we doing? Tearing her down, like this one. So Grant tore this one down earlier this week, last week. Yep, full inspection time. Yep. Now we're gonna tear this one down, we're gonna get my crank balance. See if everything's good there. Get a new top end, freshen her up because well, this had like 2,500 miles on it, so it's probably due. Put some crank drain in it. Yeah, crank drain time. So. city. 